Olivia Wilde has had some pretty high-profile relationships, but before she got there, the actress was a teenager who eloped with an Italian filmmaker and prince that lived on a school bus. The former royal couple had a wholesome marriage, but sadly they went their separate ways. What was the reason behind their split? When I got married, it was the most optimistic, hopeful, loving act that I've ever engaged in. I've Olivia Wilde met Tal Ruspoli in 2003. They were introduced through the beauty's family friend. The young woman admitted feeling a bit turned off by LA guys. They spend way more time looking in the mirror than I ever do, she said. That's when her friend told her about this filmmaker who lived on a school bus. Initially, she was hesitant to meet the Italian. He wanted to introduce me to this Italian guy who made films and lived on a school bus, Olivia recalled, adding, I said, whoa, I don't want to meet a dude who lives on a bus. It turned out that Tao is a prince whose family owns a palazzo in Rome and a castle in Vignanello. He's a filmmaker and documentarian, and the bus is a mobile studio for a cinema collective he founded. At this point, Wilde was still on her way to becoming an actress. Even though she wasn't keen on meeting a man who lived on an old school bus, the starlet and filmmaker hit it off pretty quickly. She had come to Los Angeles to pursue an acting career. We fell madly in love with each other and had this extremely passionate connection. Mm -hmm. Their differences in lineage and real estate preference aside, the two shared similar views on media and entertainment. We're from completely different worlds, but we have the same mission, to bring film and art together with some sort of political activism, the actress explained. The two had a whirlwind romance. They got engaged at the Burning Man Festival that year, and just six months after meeting, Tao and Olivia eloped on the same bus that made her wary in the first place. The actress was 19 years old at the time, while her then-husband was 27. The former lovers had a formal wedding in Virginia a little later. She explained that the decision to elope on the bus came from a yearning to share a special moment between them. The bus was the only place the former couple could be alone. After the actress entered the world of Hollywood, she was always asked about what it was like being married to the European royalty. Not only was I married, it was married to someone who had this aristocratic heritage, and so it technically made me a princess in the mm -hmm. press's eye, and then they really harped on that. Despite his royal title, Olivia had to tell interviewers that her husband was not the conventional prince that people may have envisioned. Everyone expects him to pick me up in a limo or a yacht. Then Tao rolls up in this old Thunderbird wearing flip-flops, his hair all crazy. People are like, he's a prince? The actress joked. And no, marrying a prince didn't grant Wilde access to the crown jewels. No special parking spaces or tiaras, she told TV Guide magazine. Since it's only a papal title, the royal status doesn't carry a lot of weight. But his family does have a beautiful castle and palazzo in Italy, so that makes me feel like a princess, the actress added. Olivia's 2008 interview with Women's Health magazine gave us an inside look at what life was like for her and Tao. The interviewer noted that a glance at the star's ring finger revealed a chunky gold band, not the hunking emerald cut rock favored by Hollywood royalty. The article also claimed that the former couple certainly didn't live like nobility. Their bohemian Venice beach loft was crammed with oversized abstract art, ethnic furniture, and cookbooks scarred with food stains. They were the kind of boho aesthetic beach bum couple that Pinterest had us obsessing over. Back in the 2000s, it was still a heavily influenced idea that women needed to be skinny to be attractive. It's no secret that Hollywood has a dark history of making women feel inadequate in their bodies. The Italian was adamant about making his former partner learn to love herself. I don't own a scale and Tao banned the word fat from our house, she said, adding, if we eat too much, we say, I feel clogged up. How sweet. In 2007, the former lovebirds collaborated on a film called Fix. Uh, it was time to take this even riskier leap, more than getting married, which is making a film together. This was, uh, you know, everyone was worried that it could be disastrous, of course. When the project hit theaters two years later, Olivia spoke about working with her then-husband in the most loving terms. No one understands me better than Tao, and therefore I felt completely liberated under his direction, the actress said. 
Sadly, in 2011, Olivia filed for divorce, citing the very familiar, irreconcilable differences. Before the official end of their marriage, the two had separated. Fans began wondering what went wrong with this adorable couple. Wilde later explained that the decision to split was because she was a case of arrested development, from spending her 20s with someone who loved to care for her as much as her then-husband did. And she was very young, and I got to provide a sense of security within, you know, a, a, ver a world full of unknowns. The actress felt it was healthy for her to spend time alone. You need to know how to be alone and not be defined by another person, the actress explained. Although the filmmaker did not speak about the divorce then, he released a documentary titled Monogamish in 2014. In the film, Tao explained his state of mind during that time. Reading a letter, he said, I'm in a state of total crisis. My wife has just left me after nearly 10 years together, and my whole world has crumbled. The Italian wasn't the only one dealing with heartache. From Olivia's accounts, it's clear there's no bad blood between the exes and the divorce came from a place of personal growth and development. Letting go of someone she loved for all those years was not easy for the actress. You don't want to end a marriage, you just know that something's off, so you try to change everything else, she said. Wilde also admitted that divorce made her feel like such a failure. According to the reports, the actress had discussed another reason her relationship had ended, the death of her vagina. Lights out. And you can lie to your relatives at Christmas dinner and tell them everything on the home front is just peachy. But you cannot lie to your vagina, she said on stage. Awkward. When said quotes began to circulate, Wilde clarified the situation on Twitter. She said that these girls' monologues were not meant for publication and were given without context. They were actually a celebration of love, girls, and honesty, she wrote. Even though the sun set on Olivia Wilde and Tao Ruspoli's glorious marriage, it was a good thing. The split helped both of them improve at expressing themselves and their work and helped them grow into who they are today. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We'd love it if you could share our channel with your loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity stories. Be well and be kind.